Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and I'm back with another Minecraft train video. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to build the Deutsche Bahn Ice 3, which is a German high-speed um, EMU. So the first thing we're gonna do is place a quartz block in the middle of the tracks, and around it we're gonna be placing these upside-down stairs like that, and we want to expand it so. Um, it reaches all the tracks I mean like all um, it's gonna be five blocks wide so this is basically the widest it's gonna be and under here yep we're just gonna be putting quartz and then stairs and on top of these stairs we're gonna be putting some uh, <laughs> red wool ah. Let's put some more stairs here, but like regular, and then fill this in with quartz. And then right here, quartz here, and um, let me look at this. <laughs> kind of cheating, but oh well. These are going to be like the headlamps or whatever. Let's put uh, quartz over here. Like this. Quartz block on top. Most of the train is just quartz. So the cockpit, it's pretty huge. She's black. And on top, it's just slabs. Mostly slabs, but there is some parts sticking out. I'm wondering how am I going to do this? Like, I, I can't make the whole train. I guess I'm just going to show you, like, the main parts of it. Like, the head and maybe a passenger car. But there is a pantograph and the other ones. Like these, they have like this little bump here. But I am not gonna build the whole train. I'm just gonna show you like the head and um, one of the passenger ones, one of the coaches. So I decided to make this video because I wanted to make another <laughs> Minecraft train video. I mean, those are like the most popular videos on my channel right now. So I guess it's good to do it. Anyways, so that's the roof, which is pretty simple. And under here, it looks like we're just going to be making this quartz that goes the whole length. Now, the length of the head car, it's actually 39 meters long, which, if you don't know, like one block equals one meter, it looks... Yeah, like that. So um, from the tip to the back of this, it's 39. I don't have to count because, you know, <laughs> I got the train right next to me, so I'm just basing it off this one. So yeah, this is the head of it. And the window kind of dips down here. So it's going to be like the lowest part of the window, and it's going to go up here, here. And let's put some quartz like this. And the rest of it's mainly just um, red wool and sometimes a door will be there. The iron door right here. And why did we not put a stripe here? It's because we need to put the logo. So let me do the other side, then we're going to add a logo. Which is just the ice. Which I think it means intercity express, something like that. Fill in the rest with uh, red wool. Alright, now we're gonna be putting banners up. You know, banners are a great decoration tool to use, and I already made some. So, if you know, this is pretty self explanatory how to make this. So, basically, what I did was get a white banner and then put light gray, like in a line like this, just to make an L, and then you just spell out all the letters. So I'm going to be showing you how to make the E, for example. I'm going to use light gray dye, of course. Put the top, and then the side. And then this side. <laughs> and then the middle part. And you get an E. Now, you don't just stop there. You actually want to make a border around it so it doesn't really touch the edge like that. 
this looks a lot better than if you didn't do this we're gonna do this for all of them so ICE like that and just put them in the three blocks that we put here that's uh oops that's quartz so ice ice like that um now let's see put some quartz here quartz there is it just quartz nope the windows actually oh the windows start here so the windows they're just let me just organize everything so windows it's just black wool um black stained glass black wool black stained glass right no did i do it wrong i think what what did i do wrong here oh yeah oh yeah i messed up here so you're not supposed to do that i remember so just keep on doing this pattern like the whole train almost until you reach the end oh yeah the ends um, I was looking at this coach on YouTube like the ice trains they're actually running in I think I added it to this train but it's just like subtle differences between the cars like um, the white spaces like this like how much how much uh, white space there is with no windows so right here this could be like three of them like th I think it's supposed to be like a bathroom I'm not sure I've never been in one of these trains before and even if I have them <laughs> I wouldn't remember that <laughs> like where all the bathrooms are so we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side of the car yeah I'm just gonna be putting the black wool blocks first And it ends in a black wall, which is pretty good. And let's fill this in. And on top of these, we're going to be putting some quartz stairs, which I'll do soon. Oh, I need to put a door here. For All right. Stairs. Now I should start over here. But while well, actually design this train, you know, I don't do everything by hand. It's good to have some tools like um, you can get forge and I forgot what's called world edit. World edit is a great tool, so you don't have to do all this manual labor. Um, so yeah, it's already looking like it. So the undercarriage, right? I'm not even sure if that's the right term, but like the stuff under um, looks like we put some slabs under here what are these called like stone yeah stone brick slabs put three of them and uh, what? oh this is where I put the wheel so <sighs> alright let me just check what's under here so it looks like I just put some um, see on stained clay under here, right? The whole length of the train, which I don't have, so I'm gonna go down here. See on stained clay, which does not look like blue at all. Just fills in. I wonder if I'm gonna be showing you the interior. I'll show you a little bit, but I don't really know what goes inside the train. Besides, you know, the seat, the seats. You know, I probably just put stairs all along the windows and the cockpit. I think there's actually like this um glass where you can see through and see the driver piloting it. Um, let's get some called wheels up in here now the wheels I use is just 
Um, what's this? Um, what the hell is this called? Hoppers. Yeah, we just put some hoppers down here, and in the middle, I think we're gonna be putting. Yes, just put a slab in the middle. Fill up the rest. Oh shoot! One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna be a hopper. And just do the where? Where did my thing go? Oh my god, it's on the left hand. I why? <laughs> you know, there's been an update where you could put stuff in your left hand, but I didn't really learn how to use it, so it's just gonna stay there for now. That's gonna be annoying. So yeah, we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side with the slabs. It's going faster than I thought it would be. Like we already have the train. And the other cars they're pretty much the same thing. Like that. Like right after here the wheels start. And three blocks after here. Actually three blocks on both sides away from the front I think. Yeah, I take that back. In the middle of the coaches. You want to add this thing right here. Don't know really what to call it. Like some kind of corridor thing. Keeps the keeps it sealed. So we already got the basic thing on down. And right here they have like the, these little bumps, which I just put some quartz down. It's quartz blocks like that. They have like these little bumps throughout the train. And that's how they do it. Um, let's see. Yeah, on the coaches, three blocks either side, the wheels start. Except on this one, because the front. So this is what I did. So you can see through what the driver's doing. <laughs> uh, should I add this? I wonder. All right, let's, let's just add it for the heck of it. So I think I use light blue. Um, glass and iron door here. Let me just check everything. And there's just another, um, another brick stairs like that. Uh, I'm not sure where I even started. Did I start here? I don't know. Like that. And then a door like this. And I know I put these levers here. <laughs> uh, this is not accurate at all, I know that. But, you know, it's better than no end here. Put some stairs here. Don't put a stairs like this, because then the pasture he can't really see. So I can do this. And you just do this throughout the train. Like where there's no windows, I think that's where you put like divider. I'm not even sure if this is the original design, but I thought it was something like this. So yeah, that's the front of the train. So let's make one of the um, one of the ones with the pantographs. So I just added a coupling here. There's actually couplings along the whole train to keep it all connected. And um should gonna be adding the floor which is just you know the C on. And we're gonna be starting this section of the train, which is the coach. And put three. Remember like three each side. And then there's gonna be the wheels here. So I'm just, I think I'm just gonna fast forward this part.
So here we're going to be adding a little bump just like the other side. So this is how to make the panda graph. Um, the first thing we want to do is add some more slabs in the middle here. Then you'll want to put some reverse uh, stairs like that facing the outside. I mean facing the inside. Like that and then you just want to put a slab in the middle here. And begin the start of the panda graph with this um, stone brick stairs like that. And it looks like I put a slab here and then put an upside down stairs. How am I, how am I gonna do that? Um, like that, I guess. Yeah, like that. I get some iron bars. Put them like this. And get some upside down stairs. These arm bars are really thin, like that, and that's the pentagraph here, and for the rest of the part, one, two, three, we go three like that. Oh, it's going to be difficult under here, okay. One, two, three of those stairs again, and we just fill in the middle with more quartz slabs and right here I think we go on to blocks yeah just regular blocks and then put a stairs here like that and that should be it you know and um, for the pentagraphs I mean um, you know the electric lines themselves uh, I would recommend just using these glass panes because they're more <laughs> easier to see and use than um, than I'm just using string. Like I would use it like that. So that's basically it. That's how to make the pantograph and the rest of the train is just mostly. I mean, this is how to make the pantograph down, which you just fill in the middle part and put these slabs on top like that. Which I don't think I need to explain how. So, um, there's this section here, which looks different from the rest. And, you know, you just gotta look at mm, train videos, or if you don't even care, you can just have this thing, just without the pantograph, and just have, they usually have two of these per train, but, like, one of them is lying down. So just do that anyways. Um, thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, give me a like, and then, um, subscribe yeah subscribe because i will make more videos in the future so goodbye